Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim Shaves, and today it's gonna be a simple shave today. Um, doing the No Shave November, just keeping the mustache. Um, doesn't grow too well. <laughs> Don't think I look good with it, but yeah, might as well try. I did it last year. Um, I guess it was fun. <laughs> so yeah, let's see how it goes. Just gonna shave off the chin area. I've already got some of the proto lather worked up on my face. But as for the software today, I'm gonna be going with the What the Puck from uh, Italian Barber or Razor Rock. Um, this one has a good um, blue barbershop scent. I believe it's something close to the Floyd Blue. Um, I like it. It's not my favorite, but uh, yeah, it's enjoyable. And I got it loaded using one of my smaller bore brushes. Uh, I believe this is the Omega 10075. Um, it's a midget size. I believe it's like 22 millimeter or 18 millimeter, somewhere around there for the knot size. But yeah, got it loaded. So let's go, go on and face lather with it. Just gonna hydrate the face real quick. And face lather for a bit. So let's see how this works. And the bore brush is not broken in quite. It does have a short loft, so it's gonna have a bit more backbone and resistant to the face, but I think once the tips break in, it's gonna feel nice. Currently, still a bit scat or scrubby, but uh, could work with it. All right, I'm gonna put some more water here. Go for a bit of a translucent look. You know, uh, Chris from Another Cut Above does that. I think that works well for me as well. All right, looks pretty good. Uh, I'm just gonna add a bit more water, and I think it should be fine. Mm. And just lather flying everywhere. That should do it. Hopefully I have enough lather to work with for second and third pens. Face leathering is sometimes challenging because uh, you tend to use up most of the lather for the first pass and then not have enough for the latter passes. But uh, as long as I load enough, that usually works out. All right, looks pretty good. And today, we're gonna, we're gonna, go, we're gonna be shaving with uh, another becoming one of my favorites razor. Uh, this is the Fatip Open Comb Slant, also known as the FOCS. I think. Yeah, this is a quite efficient razor. 
Uh, it has a good bit of blade feel and I am enjoying that increased blade feel recently. I'm debating whether to pass on some of my milder options because um, yeah, I do have to buff a bit more with those mild razors and without being able to feel the blade, um, I feel like I'm getting a bit more irritations whenever I chase that BBS. So at least with these ones, I feel like I don't have to um, buff as much. But uh, let's see how it goes. Got it loaded with a Lord Platinum Blade on its third use. I'm experimenting with it. So far it's doing it's doing decent, a decent job. Um, reminds me of uh, the, those shark blades. I think they are uh, from the same, same parent company. So yeah, let's see how it goes. First pass through. Yeah, I could definitely feel the blade. You gotta be careful not to push it down too hard. But uh, it's doing a good job so far. I'm gonna leave the mustache as it is. At least for this month, for men's awareness. Just a one day of growth for me, so it's mowing down that pretty easily. Let me rinse up, go for a second. Yeah, this soap is really slick. It doesn't have that fatty feel from a lot of the artisan shaving soaps, but it gives that slick that soapy slickness. Alright, second pass through. Should be enough. Let's see how it goes. I'm just gonna apply it on the chin. Got a bit of a thinner layer, but that's fine. Alright, let's go with that. Here we go. Second pass through. Across the grain. Yeah, and being able to feel the blade on this razor, I feel like I'm a bit more careful with it. Like when I used the Mercor 34C, I felt like I was shaving um, kind of on an autopilot. But with this one, I feel like I do have to pay a bit more Close attention. I think both are good options, but I am leaning a bit towards these more efficient ones. All right, that was a pretty good second pass. Just gonna do a quick cleanup going across the grain the other direction. Alright, I hope you guys are doing well. I know it's uh, a bit chaotic with the election and it being so close. But uh, yeah, hopefully it works out and yeah, I don't have much opinion on it. It feels like it can go to others, uh, either side and yeah. All right, let's go with that. Another thin layer. Here we go.
And I'm wondering if I should, if I should go against the green, do a quick last cleanup. Yeah, I'm feeling it now. There's a quite a bit, a bit of blade feel. It's not an uncomfortable amount, but I think the more passes I go through, uh, more not uncomfortable. Eh, it is, it's a weird feeling, but I do have a little nick. Right here, I could go for another against the green pass, but I think I'm gonna stop it here. I did go for a closer shave yesterday, so I'm gonna restrain myself today. Just gonna go with that, clean shave. Let me rinse up and put some of that alum on. Skin is slightly dry. I have noticed with that with this soap, um, I tends to dry up my skin. So it's not my favorite, but uh, it still works, especially for um, the low price that you get this at. It's really not that bad. All right. Ooh, yeah, quite a bit of sting around. My third use of the Lord Platinum Blade. And it tends to bring it is dulling just a bit. I will switch out the blade for the next shave and yeah. Not bad though. It's a good bit of feedback across the chin and then in the neck, but uh, overall Enjoyable, uh, clean shave. Mm, not bad. I think the blood is stopped right there and everywhere else. You got a little blemish there, but yeah, pretty good. All right, I'll leave you guys at that. Thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you guys are having a good week. Uh, be safe out there. And uh, you guys continue to enjoy your shaves. It's Tim's Shaves, and I'll see you guys uh, next time. See ya.